Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4, the true heir of Timur, playing as Transoxiana. We have officially grabbed all of the land that I need to form the Moogles, we just have to core the darn stuff. Which is going to prove to be a little difficult because we don't have the adjacent cores necessary, but we're getting close. Getting a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and pick up the military tech, upgrade my infantry, extra shock and cavalry shock and so on. That'll be helpful. Da -doom, da -doom, da -doom. And get up to Kashmir. Hopefully we will get to kill these separatists pretty soon. Can't do anything about the cores. I'm going to go ahead and buy down uh, one level of war exhaustion. Just to reduce my unrest and make it a little bit easier to maintain this stuff. The more separatists we have, the more that slows me down. And I really can't afford to do any of that. Very close to getting a government reform, by the way. That'll be fun. Let's make sure we mothball all my forts since I don't need those at the moment. If I can get a bit more money and manpower, I think we should train up to our force limit. Of 19, I think it was. You yeah, no, I'm sorry. 18. 18 it is. Alone? No, sell a province from Uzbek. Really? They want to sell me Sozak. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a good deal. So right now it's at 50% um, autonomy and it's making a total of 0.7 ducats, which means it's making 0.14 ducats per month, which means it is making point, sorry, 1. Point, um, 1.68 ducats per year out of this province if you're at 0% autonomy. Let me think about that for a second, actually, because, wait a minute, this is one of my cores. So 100 divided by 1.68 potentially is going to be 59 and a half years before this province would eventually pay for itself. If and only if I make it into a state, but it's already one of my full cores. I'll buy it at starting at 75% autonomy. I think this actually could be worth it. I was going to say I don't think it is, but now that I realize it is already a core, I can make it into a state, this might be fine. I will buy it, and then I will turn it into a state. Well, wait. Uh, uh, I didn't keep in mind that it does have a maintenance cost, but still, it increases our income by 0.1. So 0% autonomy, now we're getting 0.1 ducats per year. Okay, so it's not quite as much as I thought it was going to be. I don't, I'm not sure what changed, but at least we're making 1.2 ducats per year, which means 100 divided by 1.2 is 83. It will pay for itself by the end of the campaign, because we only have less than 100 years left. So it barely was worth it, but it technically was. Eh, okay. There are, there are worse things that I could have done. Hey, our first coalition... No, wait, we already had a coalition member, right? No, we don't. Malwa joined in the coalition against me. Aw. That doesn't seem nice. Let's improve with Baluchistan, because I think I'm going to ally them as soon as Multan is done with me, which should happen pretty soon. Okay, maybe these guys will come into the hills and fight me. Uh, I would prefer that. There's a coalition member. No, Mawad, I'm not going to marry you. Alliance is breaking because they're really mad at me. Their trust is very low. I can't imagine why. Here come the rebels. And we're going to squish. Please don't lose a lot of men. Less than a thousand. I would say that's a really, really good deal. Let's go and siege this stuff. Multan breaks their alliance with me. Mm hmm. That was to be expected. Uh, you don't want to ally me because you are outraged. If we can fix that, that'd be great. Although, I should consider who would want to ally. I'd like to ally Malwa. If they weren't outraged towards me, they'd be a very good ally because I might call them in against Jampur. Really, what I want to do is fight Jampur as soon as I form the Mughals. I think they are going to end up being perhaps my number one threat. Well, maybe not. Malwa and stuff, they are kind of scary, but I think that we're going to gain a bunch of missions, so fighting Jampur would be good, because we can conquer a lot of land from them. I don't know. There's a lot of people that I would like to ally, and I'm not sure we're going to be given the opportunity, which makes me a very sad man. No, Uzbek. Go away. Alright. So, oh, oh. Afghanistan has been annexed. Fun. So, I could start fabricating claims on some neighbors, but it doesn't matter. Because we should now be able to form, or sorry, core Delhi, which means we'll have it done by November of 1460. So I actually still will form the Noogles by 1460, which was my goal to begin with. Wait, why can we core Delhi now? I just finished coring Margala. So I have these three cored. I don't have either of these. Why is it letting me core now? I don't know, but it does. Okay. Well, I'm not going to complain about it. Fine. Cool. Okay, so we can core Delhi. Great. November of 1460 is when we are going to form the Mughals. 
That's awesome. Let's go ahead and start uh, managing our rebels in this area for a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and save myself a tiny bit of money. Let's also train up some more troops. One, two, three, plus... Actually, let's do one of them as a merc. And then let's get some cavalry. That's all my money gone and a bit of manpower, but... Stronger I am, the better. I want to mix in some mercs, but I can't afford very many. So this will have to do for the moment. Alright, good enough. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we could be forming a bunch of claims on guys, but if I'm going to form the Mughals by 1460, I will only be able to get like two or three claims before we would form the Mughals anyway. Which gives me free claims. So really, why bother? I might as well sit back, enjoy the economic output, improve relations with my neighbors, and let my aggressive expansion tick down as much as I can. Don't you think? Baluchistan, will you ally me? Yes, you will. Um, You're the one that I want. We could ally Mawar. Actually, that might be better. I like the idea of allying Baluchistan, but Mawar might be better because they're more relevant for aggressive expansion purposes. And I can use them probably against a rival. Now, granted, that means I'm never going to get to call in Malwa now. They're going to hate me. Yeah, they're not going to want to join anything. So maybe we still want to try to ally Baluchistan. I'll be able to use them against Multan or something in the future. Or at the very least, maintain some of my aggressive expansion. Keep it down. We're over our relationship slot limit, but really, who cares? That's completely fine with me. Um, because, really, what good is Diplo power to me? Not much. We can finish a mission, building to the force limit. Alright, we'll go ahead and do this now. Because once I form the Mughals, we're going to lose all these missions anyway. I might as well let the thriving arms industry kind of carry over. Expand Transoxiana. Free uh, base tax production and manpower. Alright. Cool, we finished all the missions I'm ever going to as uh, Transoxiana. We can marry Baluchistan. Sure. We'll keep them as a long-term ally. They're not in India. As long as they don't take any land from Multan, I don't care. Uh, so let's make sure that everyone is keeping our aggress uh, sorry, our rebels down as much as possible. All right, just have to hold out for another two years. Continue to improve relations with some people. Who should I improve with? Let's improve with Bamanis. I just want to make sure that all the powers of India like me a bit. Less likely for them to join a coalition against me. You know what I mean? Have we sent... We have not sent an insult to anybody. We actually should do that to make sure my power projection stays above 50. I could I could just insult Chagatai. They're super weak. They can't do anything about it. And they're a rival. Yeah, let's send them an insult. Screw you! We can do a scornful insult. Wait a minute. Who hates Chagatai? This is a new feature I forgot about. So, Oirat, Uzbek, and Transoxiana hate them. Yeah, who hates the Timurids? Mamluks, myself, and Ajam. So here's a cool new feature that was added into the game. The Scornful Insult. It costs me 5 prestige, but by doing so, we make their enemies like me more. It really upsets them. I've heard your heir enjoys hunting. Do be careful. It would be such a shame if an unforeseen accident were to happen. Nah, nah, nah. Randomize a new insult. Furthermore, I believe that Timurids must be destroyed. That's a terrible insult. Randomize a new one. When the account for our time is written by future generations, they will look at you with a, that, that mix of pity and disgust called compassion. Now that is an insult. Is it worth spending our prestige to make the Mamluks and Ajam and Uzbek like me more? I guess it solidifies the relationships longer. But I don't think it's, I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. We would also give them a Cassus Belly against us. It's more fun to do this. Send them a scornful insult. I really hate the Timurids. How much do we get out of that? Scornfully insulted enemy goes up by 25, but it goes down by 2.5 per year. So it doesn't last for very long. Still, it's kind of fun, right? It's kind of fun to get to do things like that. However, it does not count as power projection. Ah! That is a mechanic worth knowing. Let's insult Chagatai the normal way. There's my power projection. Okay, that's dumb. Paradox, fix that. I insulted my rival. I should get the power projection, in my opinion. Let's improve with Malwa. Again, just keep them down. Keep the outraged people out of my hair. As long as we can. And then just sit back and wait for a bit. 
Promising traitor. A cheaper guy of the Hindu faith. Okay. Government reforms. We can go for either curtailing the noble privileges for extra taxes and a mere influence goes down, or we can strengthen the noble privileges and get manpower. I'm going to go for the curtail of noble privileges. Because what I could try to do... Did that not work? Wait, when do they... 1464. Huh. Never mind. I thought that would actually be enough to get me in, um, in the, the clear to go for a general, but apparently not. I am wrong. Alright. We could impose a new religious tax and upset the Dimmy. 34 ducats is probably not worth making all the Hindu upset at me. So we're not going to bother. Gosh, you really have to have... I, I, I hate the changes that to the religion. I hate it so much. The fact that I can't convert anyone who's not a state is so, so stupid. You know why? It's not even just that we're going to have religious rebels and we're going to have lower unrest and stuff for the rest of the game. It's also that my religious unity is going to continue to go down, which gives me national unrest and also makes it a lot more expensive to boost stability. It's really dumb. I hate it. Whatever. I'm not the developer of the game. I don't get to complain that much. But I'm still gonna, because I hate it. The only way you can convert territories is to get all of religious ideas now. May convert religion and territories. It's absolutely necessary now to either pick up humanist or religious ideas to win this game. If you're going to blob. If you're going to stay small, you don't care. If you're going to stick in an area that's all the same religion, you don't care. For example, if I continue to expand in Sunni land, great. What are the odds that's going to happen? I'm going into Hindu land. It's just dumb, man. It's absurdly stupid, and I hate it with a passion. Alright, Punjabi Separatists are getting kind of close. A bunch of these guys are getting kind of close. But, once the core construction costs is done, that'll reduce my overextension. That'll certainly help. Ajam just took some land from somebody. Who'd you fight? I don't know who you fought. Did you just annex somebody? Whatever. We have permanent claims down here, but they won't last for long. Oh, Timurids. You are going to be a thorn in my side for the entire game, aren't you? I don't think there's a point in picking up any Diplotech. We're never really going to need it. It is always probably going to be worth keeping, um, getting the extra, sorry, just holding on to my Diplo power to use for ideas and or to waste on extra relationships. It just isn't, it doesn't matter. It just does not matter. We can stay over my relationship limit as long as I need to just to continue to control my aggressive expansion. We really want to ally Mawa Malwa someday. Maybe if I used Mawar to fight Multan first, and then that relationship breaks up if I don't give them any land, and then we get to go and fight Jampur by calling in Malwa? Maybe? I don't know. Playing the courts. Legalism. Yes. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember, do the Dimi go away once we form the Mughals and we change to an Indian nation? They might go away. It might be worth actually upsetting them just to get some free money before we do anything else. Potentially. I, I can't say that I remember for absolute sure. I've only done so much testing, you know what I mean? We can build province improvements. improvements. Any mosques that are really... Oh, uh, yeah. That's a lot of money. Build a mosque. 0.26 ducats is a lot of ducats. I want it. Finish coring Dwaba. Hooray! It's producing a tiny bit of money now. whoop de frickin' do. We don't need to pay down my inflation. War taxes is a good use, by the way, of military power. In order to keep our money under control. As needed. Jampur, please get into a fight with somebody big and scary. Anyone, actually. Anyone, get into a fight with someone big and scary. That'd be amazing. When can I kill Delhi again? Not until 1471. When can I kill Multan? 1462. Alright. We'll pro if, if we're not going to fight Jampur immediately, then we should turn our eyes to some of these small guys and just get rid of them. Maybe even create a vassal. These guys aren't terrible, right? I think that they have military-based folk ideas. Yeah, morale of armies and manpower recovery speed. Same here. Nepalese. Oh, they're all Nepalese. Garwali is different. These guys would work, though. 
Yeah, I totally could conquer one of these little guys and make him into a vassal. Distance between borders doesn't help anything. I think I think that could be worthwhile. We'll create a Nepal vassal. Yes. It's brilliant. I like it. It's so good. Are there any rebels we could put down entirely? Golistan's getting close. But not quite. Hanbali theologians gain legalism and Oman likes me. Oman, are you... Oh, you're Hanbali. Hi, Oman. Okay, if you kill Yas, I'm going to ally you instead. Uh, I don't care about imperial reforms. Why do I care about that? I'm in freaking, I'm in freaking India. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. All right, let's see. Um, we are very close to finishing. We're about to form the Mughals. Unhappiness among the clergy. Well, that sucks. Legalism lose prestige. I could gain legalism, yes. Tech cost reduction, taxes, manpower. Loyal Ulema. Nah. I mean, it's good and all, but nah. Let's not worry about it. All right, we can form the Mughal Empire. It is time. We have all these things. Delhi will become our new capital. We'll get a whole new set of missions. The Hindavi become a new primary culture. The government rank changes to empire. We gain some extra development in Delhi. Permanent claims on the entire Hindustan region. 25 prestige. We change to the Indian unit and tech groups. And our government reforms change. It's really good, though. Let's go to the Dimi and see if this works. I'm going to impose a new religious tax and upset them. Tech cost goes up from that. Don't care. Let us become the Mughals! Ba-boom! All right. We have done the thing. So these uh, government reforms don't matter anymore. Cultural union as an empire. The entire Hindustani culture region is now going to be ours. That's going to make it a lot easier to conquer. New traditions and ambitions. Absolutely. The Mughals are amazing. Yes, please. All right, let's take a look at some of the stuff that changed. What are the ideas? Well, let's 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 just run you through this real quick because they're really good. Discipline, solid. National unrest, really good. Idea cost reduction, really good. Military free policies, eventually, not in this campaign, could become really good. Tax modifier, really good. Prestige, pretty good. Stability cost modifier, sometimes nice. Passive ambitions, cavalry combat ability, good. Core creation cost reduction of 25%. Amazing! And tech cost reduction of 5%. Really good. Though we may not get this in this campaign because I don't think we're going to finish all the ideas. Holy freaking crud, the Mughals are amazing. And that's not even all. Let's go to the government reforms real quick. So now we're an Indian Sultanate, which means we still can use the ICTA taxation abilities... And we get Tolerance of Heathens, which makes it a lot easier to handle all these Hindu provinces that I can't convert. Amazing! Also, Mukul Diwan. Oh my god, is this good. Assimilate cultures into your administration. Guys. Guys, 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 guys. As we assimilate all these cultures into our... Uh, our as we conquer lands, as we conquer entire culture groups... I think that's the way it works. It's like if you conquer their entire, like, cultural region. You automatically assimilate them into your nation. Doesn't cost you any power. Doesn't matter what the limit is. That makes it so much easier to maintain the unrest, to get extra taxes and modify, uh, manpower. Not to mention these assimilated culture groups here, which, if we control all of their cultures here, we would get extra bonuses, like artillery cost, core creation cost, production efficiency, advisor cost. They're so dang good! And those benefits will continue if we were to expand throughout the entire world, you'd get a whole bunch of benefits. The Mughals, I think, have the potential, if I've understood this ability correctly, to be the most powerful nation in the game and one of the best for world conquest. Because even as we go into Europe, we can start assimilating their cultures, which makes it easier to maintain the empire. They are so good. So good. It's not even funny, man. All right, that's right. You better leave that coalition. Doop, doop, doop. Now we have claims on the entirety of Hindustan. Hey, look at that. Really good. Also, by the way, note that we lost all of our cores up here in Uzbekistan and all of our claims down here in the Timurids. You forfeit those by forming the Mughals, but I don't have any intention of going there anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
Fighting Jean Poor would not do me anything right now. We'd have to fight Chagatai. It's probably not worth it. Can't fight Multan right now. Can't fight Delhi. Could try to fight some of these little guys, but then Mawar would be upset at me and we're allied with them. So I don't want to do that. I'd rather call Mawar in on some war and then kill these guys. Could declare war on these guys here. We have claims and then force them to be a vassal via conquest. Um, is it worth that? Well, is it is it more likely that we could actually get them to do so diplomatically? Not the same religion group as minus 20, yes. Neutral attitude, I could probably fix. Distance between borders. You're a kingdom? You guys are the kingdom ranks? You're one province miners. How does that work? No idea. I'm a little concerned about the aggressive expansion we would gain just from uh, forcing our vassalization of these guys. But that would be really good to do. By the way, how are we doing on... Yep, look at all the unrest gone. Because we've got all these accepted cultures now. It's so good. Can we turn you into a state? Like, for free? Are you, like, an official, actual... It would cost me 132 power, but it's worth it. Done. This will turn into a lot of extra money for me. 0% autonomy in Delhi, 25 development. Yes, please. That helps. Helps a lot. Okay. So I can't fight anybody that I really care about. I don't want to fight these guys. I can't fight Jean Poor. They're too big and scary right now. Mawat is allied to Delhi and to Sindh, but they're also being defended by Jean Poor. Can't fight Delhi. Can't fight Mawat. That leaves Ladakh. So let's go and kill Ladakh. Or something. Raise of that army maintenance. Still making a tiny bit of money. That's right. Leave that coalition. Get out of here, you little nonsenses. I would love nothing better than to form you, force you guys into a vassalization. Would love nothing better. So this is interesting. Not the same religion as 10. Actually, if we made them like me, they would ally. I don't... I don't know. Minus 20 would get me up to 61. Well, no. It would get them down to minus 53. I'd also have to reduce the borders. I might be able to force these guys into a vassalization if I conquered Garwal, which I can't do while Mawar is defending. So let's just pay attention to all the local wars. And if we find ourselves with an opportunity, that would be amazing. In the meantime, though... We're just going to go continue to conquer some lands and the easy stuff that doesn't get me a lot of aggressive expansion. Growth of the administration. Mughal's diplomatic relations. Saves me some power. Also, the Mansabar's estate is happy. Lose mercantilism, which I don't really care about. They gain influence, but not enough to be a threat. Mm, okay. Or tolerance of heathens. Let's do diplomatic relations. Lose the mercantilism. Let's take a look at our estates, because that just changed. So the Dimmy are gone, so I'm glad I did that. These guys are a threat. Look at that manpower recovery speed, though. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Brahmins? Seek their approval. Tax modifiers. Do they function exactly the same as the Ulema? I think they might. That's fascinating. Yeah, let's seek their approval and get some extra taxes. And stability cost. Cool. Rajputs. That would upset the Mansabars. It says it would give them influence. How much? Non-Hindu states. Minus 5%. Who the heck are these guys? Ancient case, the cast of honorable warriors and proud nobles. Hmm. Not sure how these guys work. If we gave them some influence, we could test some stuff with them. Recruit Rajput regiments. Up to 10 regiments will be recruited dependent on the number of provinces under the Rajput's control. Ooh. Cannot exceed the number of provinces controlled by the Rajput estate. Interesting. This is a way of getting free troops. Also a general. 40 tradition and an extra fire. That's just straight up better than the Mansabars. Mansabdars, sorry. Enlist Herbias. Land fire damage? Oh, these guys are interesting. The Rajputs are pretty good. What about these guys? Patronize their families, lose prestige. Construction cost is not useful to me. Procure a loan at a lower interest rate. 
Lower than what? Lower than a normal loan? Interest per annum, 4%. So this would be a cheaper way of getting a loan. Okay. Lose corruption? Oh my god! Wow! Build a temple. Oh my gosh, these Indian estates are really good! I like them! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and declare war on Ladakh. Oh, we'd have to fight two, uh, some little guys. Limbu Wan and Sang over here. Who the heck is Limbu Wan? This little guy right here? Do you have good ideas? Morale of armies and manpower. Huh, wonder if I made you into a vassal instead. A little far away to be useful. Uh, I don't think these guys are a threat, really. I think we just go ahead and declare the war. And if I have an opportunity to go over here and get some free money, I'll frickin' take it. I mean, we need to conquer these guys eventually to take over Hindustan, but not for a while. Do you have any allies? Ladakh. Who the heck is you? Just the letter U? Just the letter U? What kind of a name is that? Yeah, I don't want to co-belligerize these guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and attack Ladakh. We're just going to conquer them. Uh, I'll say the war goal is Baltistan. Don't care about any of this. We're going to gain some legalism for killing them. Ba-boom. I am low morale, so I don't actually want to fight him right now. And he actually has a really good fire general. What do you know? Hey, we can core things. It's going to take forever. I can't afford it. No, we need missionary strength before I can do that. All right, let's go over here. Our heir is a sinner. Oh, oh, great. Yeah, let's just upset all the Sunni. Perfect. All right, we've maxed out with Malwa. I probably should just have my diplomats automatically going with outraged countries. I think that just makes sense. All right. Um, how many troops do we need down here, really? He's going for Delhi. He's going for my capital. Mm, we can kill him later if we have to. Three troops is all we really need. I guess we probably should try to kill him, right? So let's leave behind three troops. We're going to go down here and kill him before he has a chance to get together with anybody. Uh, any of his allies. He ran away. Of course he did. That only makes sense. All right. Whoops. Let's uh, send a merc with the general up over here. You guys sit tight. I guess we could just loot. Never mind, here comes his friends. He actually has some reinforcements. What do you know? All right. I'm going to loot and make some money. Let's go ahead and turn off all our forts. The exception of... Row, maybe? No, I can leave Row. Well, I don't need to pay for it. It's fine. And you're calling me in against a war of independence against Marwar. These guys. Who have no friends. It's a one province miner that you're asking me to help you kill. Okay. You know why I'm okay with that? Because I'll get free favors for doing that. And it's not going to cost me anything because I'm not actually going to help them. So there you freaking go. Alright, we're just going to loot you for a bit. Give you some war exhaustion. I'm going to take that fort. Look at you with all your little buddy buds. I am not a fan of this. Hey, we have a higher army force limit than I thought we did. Also, elephant archers. Oh, that makes me so happy. We've got the elephants now. Aw. Hey, that war's already done. That was really fast. We got six favors. Thank you. Brings me up to nine. In like a year, I'll be able to call them in for favors in a war. Not even lose the relationship afterwards. You know how useful that is? Really useful, man. Alright, let's um, actually get the troops down here. I'm just kind of scare him a little bit. I want him to back the heck off. Don't try to take my land. Get out of here. Run away from me. Run away, you fool. Fly, you fools. I can call in Mawar now. No point. I would like to get another general. So we'll hire somebody. Uh, okay. Reasonably good. I could put my king in charge, though. Which is even better. Let's try... Hiring a couple of extra mercs. And then we're going to go kill you. I can afford this, right? I think. Go kill. Die, die, die! Okay. We lost very little. He lost a lot. 
We're also now goal-oriented, so movement speed increase. Let's get over here and get ready to murder these fools. Okay. Die, die, die. And you... I lost practically nothing, and you lost a lot. Look how good this is. All right. Split her on up. Uh, King, let's pull you off. I can't right now. Just don't die right now, all right? I don't want to lose the stability. Recall from Bombonis, Timurids declared war on Hormuz. That is a little scary. I don't want these guys getting stronger. It bothers me that they're getting stronger. Anyway. All right, this is a good place to end this video. But we're going to take a little bit of lands. I'd like to get some money off of these guys if I can. Um, and Gorka is spreading. Who the heck are you? Uh, we're going to look for an attack of opportunity against Jean Poor, if we can. Who is, again, picking up even more allies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The network of alliances here is going to be a main major pain. But if I can get a few more favors with some people, bring in some allies, that'll make it a lot easier. And that way I can preserve my manpower. The important thing is, we made it to the Mughals by 1460, which means I am on time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.